Okay, so in BuildShip, it's highly likely you are gonna to want to make some decisions within your particular workflow. Now, there is a perfectly dedicated node that's gonna allow us to do that, and that is called branch. And it's gonna allow us to kind of evaluate a particular condition. And if that condition evaluates to true, then we're gonna be able to carry out a particular set of instructions, which in our case is gonna be execution of a node. If not, we're gonna completely ignore it. So if it, if it evaluates to false, then we're not interested. And I'll show you how we can do that with inside our workflow. So this is the workflow that we created previously. It's the form to email workflow. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see, has an email address been passed in? If that evaluates to true, then we're gonna send an email. If it's not, then we're just gonna completely ignore and just let it kind of finish. Let me show you how that works. So in the workflow, I'm gonna to go to the little plus here and I'm gonna click on the branch node here. This is one of the ones that's kind of instantly here in your face because it's clearly one of the most common nodes here that we can use. So just hit branch. And then here we are, we've kind of got this then in else. Now what I've got is at the bottom here is I've got our kind of our node here. Now I need to move that up into this particular area. So what's really nice on the left hand side is I can grab hold of my particular node here and I can drag it just between there and you can see it now slots quite nicely here. So what we need to do is we need to head in this particular direction if our email address has been provided. Now, where do we do that check? Well, it's in the node up here itself. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna change this here just as a title, because it's good to uh, kind of put titles in our actual notes here. So I'm, I'm gonna say check if uh, email provided, something like that. Sim really simple it's simple label I'm going to go into the little pen here and this allows us to uh, sort of utilize some coding skills here where we can use a little bit of JavaScript now don't worry if you're not familiar with JavaScript it's one of the most popular languages on the planet so if you need to do a little bit of Google in to kind of check some of these things out then I highly recommend you do it but um, you may be quite comfortable with JavaScript now I'm going to go to my variable now I'm going to look at the email address that we were passing in so if I go to the body and here is my email and I'm just gonna simply do a not equal to, and then I'm just gonna do two single quotes like that. That is simply all I need to do. So I'm saying, is my email address not equal to nothing uh, or an empty string? If it is, then I can move in the true direction. Of course, if it's not, I can move into the false. So if I now test this out and I'm gonna go up to my little test here, I'm gonna to go to then my body. And you can see here that what I've done is instead of going to Flutterflow now and sending this in as a kind of request into the workflow, I've just kind of keyed in what Flutterflow would be sending or any kind of front end application would be doing. So I'm gonna hit the test the workflow. Now what you'll see is hopefully is that this should go green, which is indicating that we've moved in this particular direction. And of course, I'll change that very, very shortly. Uh, there it is, it's all green. So clearly the email has been sent and I'll probably get an email up here on the right hand side. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna take my email address out here. So of course, I'm gonna say it's nothing. I'm gonna hit test workflow. Now, I'm not expecting to see this particular node kind of all highlighted in green because I've clearly not passed an email address actually into the into the actual workflow itself. So there we go, it hasn't gone green. So this is just a, a really, really simple check where we are just making sure that that email address is passed in. Now, of course, in most good and sort of robust solutions, you should always be putting a little bit of protection into your workflows themselves. Don't always trust what your front end applications are providing. You wanna to try to make sure that you also do some level of checking with inside your workflows. And of course, you'll kind of learn that as you kind of build out these workflows, because you're gonna kind of, you, you know, happy day scenarios where you just assume that everything is gonna be perfect and working, don't always play out as they like. So I always recommend that where possible, make sure you are checking for mistakes or lack of data or something like that, and ensure that you are either responding back to your application um, in a, a nice graceful way that you know there's an error or there's a problem don't just always assume everything is gonna be perfect. So that's just a very, very simple look at the branch. Uh, let's extend a little bit more on that in the next video. Okay, so let's extend our condition then and I'll give you a few little tips along the way as well. So hit the little pen here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a double ampersand in here because that now means I'm gonna now check for another value as well. Now, a little tip in build chip is that we know that we're passing in message and name. So if I just type in a name here, it's automatically worked out that that is actually a variable that I've got set. If I just hit enter there, it now automatically comes up, which is fantastic, it's a real time saver. I say not equal to, and then 
do just do the single quotes another double ampersand there and i can also now do message like that there it is it popped up and like i say not equal to and then just single quote so there we go so i've kind of like got three checks going on now so i need to make sure that all of those are provided so let's just check to make sure this works go up to test here go up to then the body and i just need to put in an email address in fact i'm just going to put anything in here it's no problem at all i'm just going to then hit test workflow now we should go green here which should be quite nice Okay, so that's good. So all of our conditions working now. If I just take out my name here now, like that, we shouldn't go green because we're now just, there we go. It's very, very quick actually. It's evaluated that really quickly and we're all good. So we kind of got um, three checks going on just as we would do in a in a coding language. Now, of course, remember, I've just been using just a simple kind of not equal to here, but there's different types of uh, evaluations that we can do if I hit the little feather up here. I've got a few in here that um, is the most common ones that you would do. You kind of do your, your double equal or you're not equals or you're greater than you're less than uh, that uh, you know you see these if you're if you're a coder you know what these are all about but um there's a, a little reference there that if you need to kind of then use those with inside here as you're kind of playing around now of course i've been dealing with kind of strings here i could go up to then the uh, the three dots so i can edit I can add in perhaps then another kind of value here. Let's just change this. And I'm just going to put in here age like that. Just going to put age in here. Let's give this a type of number just like that. So that's all nicely included. Just save that. And of course, I can come back out here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete all of these out of here. And I'm just going to do and, and then I'm going to say age like that's automatically picked it up is greater than 13 like that. Now that should be all good for us now. If I just uh, click away, in fact, I need to just uh, put the double quotes in there like that. It's just missed out. There we go. So that's now going to check for that. So we, we know we're dealing with a number now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go up to the test here. I'm going to go to the body. Uh, I'm just going to put in my name here. I'm just going to put the age in here. So let's just do that age and then do that. And I'm going to put some, um, say, 12 on here. So we know that that workflow should not play out because we need to be greater. There we go. So it hasn't gone green here. So I just uh, do this now as 14 test workflow and we should go green on the left hand side so there we go really simple you can see how we can start building these up using nuts or numbers and strings and all of that kind of stuff so hopefully that's useful that's kind of set the scene a little bit to kind of using the branch and using conditions um, let's now move on to the next one